Hello everybody, my name is Antoninus, and welcome to Ruby Chibi, episode 21. We're getting really, really close to the end of this, and if I, if my brain's working right, we're only a couple of weeks away from the release of Volume 5. So, that's all fun and games. And, I just want to say, this is completely coincidental, but... The title of this video is Happy Birthaween, or what was it called? Uh, yeah, Happy Birthaween, and it's got the thumbnail is Yang with a knife. That's not the funny part. Of this the funny part is that this actually kind of goes with the subject I'm going to discuss at the well after the mini review, and it's a subject that loads of people don't like talking about. I'm going to talk about people I believe have a good chance of dying in this season. And I don't mean just like the whole Neo, if it, you didn't see it, she's not dead. I mean people that I actually believe have a very strong chance at dying. Just done. Not going to be in the show anymore. I would have maybe like flashbacks or something, but that's a completely different thing. I've only got two, but I know someone's going to point out a lot more, so that's all fun and games, and we'll look forward to that. But Ruby Chibi, episode 21, happy birthday, Ween. Birthday, Ween. I can't say that. Say that five times fast and come back to me. I. From the title, I. I think there's going to be a birthday, Halloween sort of mix, which funnily enough works considering we're now in uh, October. So before I get into the reaction, click the link in the description, go over to Rooster Teeth's channel, watch it over there, come back, watch my reaction, and be sure to support Rooster Teeth in everything they do. You have two seconds. One, two, one, done. That was actually more than two seconds because I messed up on my bloody countdown. I am a dumb. But whatever. We'll get straight into the reaction, the review, and then the discussion on who's going to die. Ruby Chibi. Ah, we're selling out with a pumpkin. I love this time of year. Me too. Everything feels so festive. Hmm. Oh What's no, that not that smell? asshole. Smells like evil plans. Huh. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's. Uh -huh. Oh my god. That is way more brutal than I thought. Ah, the perfect pumpkin pie. I call for slice. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. I know. <laughs> Haven't seen her in one. I don't like it when Nora does this. They're playing on the whole crazy Nora thing. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just had to stop the video. Uh, Amazon package. We'll get straight back into it. I really don't like it when Nora's crazy. She's... Oh, hello. Hey, Nora. What you doing? Yeah, what is all this? Oh, just making a little love potion with someone special in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nora, you're never going to trick Ren into drinking your... We'll just leave you to it. Yeah, walk away. <laughs> okay, see you later! <laughs> Nora! I can't. Oh. Again. She is beyond creepy in this. They have made Nora the scariest thing ever. It's Do you know what today is? Halloween. What? Your birthday? Yeah. She was born on Halloween. Trick or treat. <laughs> Mm. 
Wait, would that actually work? <laughs> would that actually work? If you're born on Halloween, do you get to take right, everyone else's everyone like candies? Party? I mean, I was kind of hoping you guys would buy mine for me, cause you know, uh, it's my birthday. <sighs> Hmm. Oh, what's she got in mind? Please. Nice <laughs> Ruby. Oh my lord. Hey, that was fun. Despite the fact that I had to stop, put a little ways through it just to answer the door but whatever we'll go through this and start doing a little review first little skit geist pumpkin basically that annoying geist from the previous one who reminds me of a certain individual from work yeah basically tried doing something evil by like possessing a pumpkin got himself cut in half by ruby got himself turned into a pie then got himself stabbed by Yang with a knife that is terrifying image. Rooster Teeth, what's your obsession with turning some of our favourite and in this form adorable characters into fucking psychopaths? What is with you guys? The second skit, Devotion Potion. Again, Nora has gone cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. She basically wants to make a love potion. Pira is terrified, Jean is confused, and I'm pretty sure at this point, Ren has drowned at some point in this. Uh, oh well, Nora will probably enjoy it. She can maybe give him CPR. <laughs> that was a horrible joke, I'm sorry. And a last skit, Happy Birthday Ween. I guess it's now confirmed that Ruby's birthday is on Halloween? So that's a bit of fun information I didn't know. But would that actually work? Just like, if it's your birthday on Halloween, do you get everyone else's candy? Or do you still have to suffer through a bunch of like crappy trick or treating? Because Halloween's not fun anymore when you're an adult. Halloween is boring. Unless you're having a party, which I am, which I am looking forward to. But Halloween birthdays, like combined I just want want to say I was supposed to be born on Halloween but I ended up holding off for like a week so instead of being a Halloween baby I was born on the 6th of November so that was a fun little factoid about me so enjoy that one and I do hope you guys went to Rooster Teeth's channel and watched it over there before watching my reaction because to be fair, it's a lot more fun watching the thing as it's like by itself than trying to listen into the jokes over, well, that's being overshadowed by my dumb voice. And now we come to the subject most people don't like. I will now tell you two people I believe that are going to die in Ruby Volume 5 if it, people need to die. The first one. I believe will be Professor Lionheart. I believe he will die. I believe he'll die in the form of a redemption because it showed at the end of Volume 4 that he was being real hospitable, yeah, hospitable, uh, real friendly with one of, what's the name? Salem's henchmen. I keep forgetting his name because he only like showed up twice in Volume Four, so I don't remember his name. So I believe something like that is gonna happen. He's gonna, there's gonna be a fight. He's gonna die in um, like a redemption style. Like this, for all the shit he has done or will do, the one act of sacrificing himself to save the rest will be how he redeems himself and also gets himself killed. This next one. Ooh, a lot of people are gonna hate me for this one. I believe Gira, Gira Belladonna, he will be one to die. I believe he will die during 
a battle or little scuffle with, like, the White Fang. And he will either die by Sienna Khan, who I still want to know what the fuck he looks like, or Adam Torres. The Adam part, I think, is more stronger than anything, because Adam is obsessed with Blake. I believe he will kill anyone who gets in his way to get to her, and Gira, being a protective father, will do everything he can to keep Adam away from her. I believe he's going to take a sword through the chest to protect his daughter, thus ending his life. And I'm just saying, I know people don't want him to die. I'm just saying from a person who's watched series upon series of different shows that span longer, say, long like time frames or short time frames. I just gotta tell you this trope that always makes its way through. The parent, the guardian, or the mentor more or less dies. It's happened every single time, so these two are definitely on the list of people that I believe will die in Volume 5 or in one of the other volumes. But I do hope you guys let me know in the comments if you think my predictions have any merit whatsoever. Please be polite, these are only like speculations and guesses on my part, but I would love to hear your sides. And let me know if there's someone else you believe will die. I'm only going off the good guy side. Like, the more shocking parts that'll make you cry. I could probably list off a couple of names of people that everyone wants dead that will make you scream for joy. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with my list and leave it like where it is. And I hope you guys actually enjoyed the reaction review and discussion for Ruby Chibi. But that's all I got for this video. Since we're getting closer and closer to the launch of Volume 5, I do hope you guys stick around because I will be reacting to it. But I want you guys to make sure you go over to Rooster Teeth's channel, watch it there when it gets released, or go over to Rooster Teeth's website and watch it there first. Because you get to watch it a week before everyone else. That means you know everything that's going to happen. You can watch it over and over again, point out the little details that myself and other like reactors miss. Because I am going to be fangirling like a little bitch when it like starts playing so I'm gonna miss a hell of a lot so I'll need you guys to point like key details out so I know what to keep an eye out for but whatever I hope you guys did enjoy like share subscribe if you want to and I'll see you all in the next video laters